center instrument panel. Uh, I uh, renovated this a while ago and it's been sat ready to, uh, to, to go. So um, I've double checked the orientation of the, of the gauges and I've, uh, I've got that right, I think now. Um, the, uh, I need to double check the switches on the inside, which is what I'm gonna do um, uh, in a few minutes. Um, theoretically, again, this is easy to install. Uh, there's a, a, a shoulder bolt, a bolt which acts as a hinge, um, which comes in from each side. There's one there and there's one there. Uh, you can see that uh, that's that bolt there. Uh, that shoulder allows for, uh, creates a hinge and allows for this to, to rotate. Um, the first thing I've done prior to making all of the connections is uh, this bracket locates this house, this wiring harness on my left hand side. And then uh, this bracket locates this wiring harness on the other side. I use the photographs to position this relative to the, to the, to the bracket. And um, I've got this clump of wiring uh, 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 to the left of that bracket per the way that um, I disassembled it. Um, right, so you, I talked before about process of elimination. So the wiring tends to clump itself um, in the order which is related to the vehicle. So um, obviously this group of wires are for this side. Um, these are for the center. Um, this is for one side. And then uh, this is more related to the center. Uh, I'm going to go through the wiring diagram block that I have and I'm going to attempt to film the connection process. Um, this is something I'm going to do, then check, then check again, and then check again, and then check again. It's going to be good though. Center instrument panel cluster. Um, I have it wired up now to a point where I need to uh, connect up the battery and have everything else connected on all of the the ends, um, lights, etc. Just to debug this, but uh, I'm not going to vouch that I have all of this right. Um, a couple of interesting observations uh, uh, as we go through this. Um, um, I'm not 100% convinced I have all of the switching correct. Again, I'll, I'll debug that. What I am convinced is that I've got the right wires going to the right switch. Um, and also I'm, I'm pretty confident about the, uh, the gauges. All right, so uh, fuel gauge, water temp, clock, oil pressure, and uh, battery voltage. An immediate observation is this oil pressure requires this um, brown and white wire, um, but the length of that won't actually reach the switch, uh, reach the gauge. So I was a bit puzzled by that. Um, on the wiring diagram that I have, which is just focusing on the, uh, the instrument panel cluster itself, it shows this oil gauge in this position. And um, when I took photographs of the car, the oil gauge is in this position. But on the wiring diagram uh, of the full circuit, um, this gauge is actually uh, over here. And then this brown wire would reach. So all I've done is I, um, and I went back to my original harness and uh, this brown and white wire doesn't come out of the loom here, it comes out of the loom um, here at a different location. So that's definitely a change at some particular point. Um, there's a slight mismatch. So all I've done is I've just made a white wire connection uh, to bridge that gap. Um, and that's worked out uh, well. Uh, 
The other thing uh, is that uh, I have a brand new clock um, and I picked up a live feed through this purple um, and then I have uh, an earth for that. Uh, that earth and this purple is part of the original uh, loom. Uh, the purple, I had to take that off my old harness uh, because um, that is not included in my ancillary pack. Um, okay, so uh, red and white wires go to illuminate the gauges. Uh, this is the voltage stabilizer. I think this side is the 10 volt, this side is the 12 volt. Um, these wires go to... Um, go to the battery and to the uh, oil gauge and then these wire, this uh, green and black wire goes to the water temperature and the fuel. Uh, one thing that was wrong on my wiring diagram that I have, uh, again I'm not complaining about the wiring diagram, the wiring diagrams are, are actually really first class I have to say, is that uh, for the water temperature, you need to fix this green and blue wire. My wiring diagram called this out for green and black. Um, green and black is also called out for the for the fuel, um, for the fuel sender, and then um, that is actually correct. So I've checked this on the actual looms themselves as well as on the drawing, other drawings, um, and uh, green and black is for the fuel, and. Uh, Green and blue is for the water temperature. Um, this is a rheostat for the dimmer switch for uh, the light panel. So when you want a lighter, um, less light, then this uh, brown and red wire is uh, switched and uh, the red and white picks up at the feed from that. Um, otherwise, the red and white picks up from the feed in the switch. Um, when the lights uh, uh, when you turn the lights on, so you get a two stage dimmer, uh, two stage level of light. Um, okay, hazard switch is here. Uh, map light switch is here. Uh, internal light is here. This is the panel light. Um, this side is the, okay, this is the lighting switch for sure, okay, this is the screen, uh, uh, wipers, and they have multiple speeds, uh, this is the washer, and then this is the heater fan. And then in my car, this is free because uh, this is the rear window. Uh, blue and red are the lights. They go the um, they uh, the gauge lighting. They go down to the receptacles there, so they are um, on this lower edge. Uh, the wiring loom is connected to the center console panel by uh, these straps. One on one uh, this two sides to the loom, so this side and then this side, they're both bolted down independently. Um, this junction of red, uh, red and white wires and separate junction of blue and red wires should actually be connected by a bracket to this earthing point here. But I couldn't make that stretch um, because some of the wiring was too short, so I've just simply connected them uh, using a, a, a small strap. Um, same here, originally these are all connected or taped um, in the original loom and uh, I, I've just used a, a little strap here. Uh, it looks straightforward but it's actually taken me uh, quite a while to uh, to figure out. Um, one particular issue that I had is the um, 
panel light switch, which is this one, um, the spay terminals are different sizes to the uh, connector terminals coming from the wiring. So I ordered another one in case I'd actually got the wrong one originally and uh, uh, again it came in with a different size. So these are actually, the connectors here are smaller than the spay terminals on the switch. So now I have two, I just simply filed one up. I didn't want to cut these, these wirings to match that switch. Um, per the original loom, they are smaller and the switch should have smaller spay terminals. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Anyway, I, I filed them to fit. That's actually worked out. I'm not guaranteeing that this is correct. But it's pretty damn close, and it's close enough for me to uh, actually hook it all up at the right time and uh, check each line out individually. I'm sure I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be playing with some of these switch connections, um, but um, we'll go from there. All right, okay. There's one other area here. This is the central earthing. All of the earthing points go to this um, uh, bolt nut arrangement uh, here. Yeah, took a little while, but uh, I have it in. And we are good to go for now at least. <laughs> 